Let me start by asking you all a profound question. Next slide, please. Who is hungry? <laughs> okay. You, mm. you and me both. All right. Let's circle back to that again later. Because today, I want to talk about how, next slide, please. How hunger solved hunger. So as we all know, way back in 2020, the pandemic struck here in the Philippines, leading to impacts on food and agriculture sectors. This caused problems in um, food security, health challenges, financial burden, and disruption supply chains, among others. Recent data by the Global Hunger Index shows that the hunger rate in our country reached an all-time high in 2021 with an index of 21.2% with the majority of those affected coming from the marginalized poor sectors. Now, I was only 19 years old at the time and in senior high school, doing online distance learning like many of you. And how I actually came up with a solution for this problem is actually pretty funny. Next slide, please. As it just started as a mock paper I had to write for one of my classes. And note, this was not a big paper. This was not a thesis. This was not a research. It was just one of those small essay questions our teachers would give us with like a 200 max word count uh, when they don't know what assignment they, they should let us do. And I remember everyone in my class was writing about mass testing and vaccination trials, which are all very good solutions but no one was really addressing the issue that we face on a day-to-day -day basis. And that was hunger or the need to eat. So from there, it hit me. Why don't we grow our own food at home through urban farming? This paper could actually be a real solution to a very real problem happening now, which sounds easy enough, right? But it's actually not so simple. As a close majority of us in the Philippines actually lives in urban cities and areas, like us who reside in the national capital region. This gives us little to no space to actually plant, and even limited agricultural resources and knowledge on how to actually propagate your own vegetables and produce. This was the gap we needed to address. So from there, we launched Oh My Gulay, Grow Your Own Food Contest, in which was an urgent response to the food security threat problem brought about by pandemic, while also being a project working to change agriculture in the Philippines, one school at a time, one student at a time. For this, we distributed free vegetable planting kits to all 42 public schools in Las Piñas City, allowing them to empower their students to actually be the solutions by growing their own food at home and becoming the primary breadwinners and food producers of their household, regardless of their age. While also fostering the sustainable development goals, zero hunger and sustainable cities and communities. So we really thought of fostering sustainability by advocating the capabilities of the Filipino marginalized youth in a fun and engaging way. And then next slide, please. So we have students who have pushed the bounds of creativity, resourcefulness, and innovation in ways on how they find spaces, every possible way they can to grow their food, whether it be using plastic bottles, uh, food containers, cans, tires, even electric fan caps, to be able to grow in different areas of their homes. So we also have in their walls, some of them in their windows, some of them in their backyards, and even some in their rooftops. So from what started as just a small idea on paper, created impact larger than we could have ever imagined. Next slide, please. With us now serving over 98,000 youth, from all 42 public schools in Las Piñas City, and actually us going internationally 
thanks to our partnership with the U.S. Embassy and the Youth Southeast Asian Leadership Initiative. So, from the Philippines, we are also launching in Indonesia, Laos, Thailand. We, has, we have also received nine major local and international awards and recognitions from various organizations. A uh, few recent ones being, like mentioned, was the Thai Award as national finalists for their 20th search for the 10 accomplished youth organizations in the Philippines. We also received the Sagam Saka Award from, our, from former Senator Kiko. And we were also selected as top five by the United Nations Development Program for their Youth Social Innovation Lab. And of course, now that we have achieved teaching in classrooms, we want to continue to grow their passion and knowledge by also teaching them in farmlands. So from what started as this, has now become this. Introducing you all to Grow School, which is a 20 foot tall farm school structure we are building at Nasubu Batangas, entirely made of sustainable bamboo, and is actually inspired by our Filipino roots as a modern day Bahay Kubo. And I don't know if some of you can tell what it's inspired to look like, but it's actually supposed to look like a farmer's hat, or also known as a salakot. Here is where we host practical training sessions and introduce them to amazing local farmers and other successful individuals working under agriculture and sharing their stories, experiences, and strong passion for the art and sciences of cultivating our soils and crops. We teach them not only the traditional ways of farming, but also the innovative new ways of growing, such as agri-tech, agripreneurship, hydroponics, aquaponics, and even permaculture, and many more. We want to give rise to a new generation of agricultural professionals that will be the change makers the day and for our future. But most importantly, I am even happier to say that we have over 2,000 current real life stories of young people successfully feeding their families at home and becoming the primary breadwinners of their households regardless of their age. Stories like Adrian, who you see in this picture. He managed to convert a once empty lot into a viable vegetable producing garden that not only manages to feed his whole family, but produces so much that he markets and sells his vegetables to his Makapit Bahay, making an income for his family and feeding everyone in his small community. Adrian is only 11 years old. But through this project, he did that. His story is only one out of a hundred just like that. Each one unique and shows how empowered they are. Stories like Valencia, Jared, Zalimar, and many more. I, I wish I could share all their stories with you guys, but with the time I have, it won't cut it. <laughs> These young people have managed to transform their hunger for food into a completely different type of hunger. A hunger for change. We all have moments in our lives where we feel lost, confused, stuck, or maybe even lacking direction. We ask ourselves questions like, what do I want to do? Who do I want to become? What am I doing now? What is my purpose in life? But what if I told you that you do not find your purpose in the easy times, but in the difficult ones? I believe that we find our purpose through the problems we face and the challenges we encounter. Whether this be personal, professional, or even global, it could be in problems like mental health, gender equality, climate action, many more. By redefining what hunger meant for them, they managed to look at a problem and turn it into purpose. We have the ability to create, to create impact, to use our skills, talents, hunger, and passion to make a difference. So what are you guys hungry for? 
you have the power to change the world and the lives of those around you. So with that, I want to ask again the first question I ask, which is, who here is hungry right now? Thank you.